Today we're going to talk about customizing your new Mac. The topics will be Finder Window and Finder Preferences. Finder Menu Bar Icons up here in the top, how to customize those. Dock Icons, how to add and remove icons down here at the bottom of your screen. Scrolling, if you need to change the direction if it seems like it's backwards with your mouse or with your trackpad. And changing the clicking options on your trackpad. And of course, notifications that pop up and may interrupt you during work, how to turn those off. So let's get started. First off, let's customize the Finder window and the Finder window toolbar. So you'll click down here on the Finder icon and you'll get a window popping up. This is the Finder window. To customize this, come up here to this gray area and with a right click or a two finger click on your trackpad, you get this new menu. So we're going to hit customize the toolbar. You'll see these different options. First thing we want to do is change this to icon and text so we know what we're dealing with. Now I personally do not use any of these that I'm removing. So I click, drag them down, and remove them. Some of my favorites are the delete button. I really like the quick look button. Then I can open files without having to, I can look at files without having to open them. The get info, I like that to see how large a file is and what file type it is. And path, so I know where I've saved it. Now that I have that customized, click done, and I've changed this. I really miss having the status bar down here on the bottom of the window, so I come up here to the view menu, and then I come down and say show status bar. That gives me this status bar, and I can zoom on my icons. I also like to customize the sidebar. So to customize the sidebar, I come over here to the Finder menu and go down to Preferences. Now, in the Preferences, I can click on the sidebar. Some things I like. I like my home folder to show up. And I don't like the cloud drive because I'm not using it right now, so I take that off. And I'm going to take off Bonjour computers because I don't want them showing up. So now my sidebar is customized. And if you like to have them in alphabetical order, you can drag them to different order here on your sidebar. Going back to the Finder Preferences, we can come to the General tab here. And I prefer having a new window when I click on the Finder window to go to my Home folder. So I'm going to click Home folder, and this will have your name here for your Home folder. And I like the hard disk to show, but you change this to your preference. Now that we're done, we can close that window and we have customized the finder window. So let's talk about modifying some of these icons. Now I'm only going to be using English, so I don't want to have the language selector here anymore. So I'm going to take that off. So I'm going to open the keyboard preference. And I always use the same English keyboard, so I'm going to uncheck that. But what I do really want is the little speaker icon that changes the sound volume and the sound output. So I'm going to go here and show all. And I'm going down here to my sound. And I'm going to show the volume in the menu bar. Now I have a little speaker up here. Very helpful. I can choose what type of output I have. Close that. Now if I want to rearrange some of these, I can hold down the command key and I can drag them to a new location. If you have a laptop, I really like to show the percentage on my battery charge. So I'll say show percentage and it shows me how much charge I have on my battery. So that's some things that you can do for your menu bar here at the top of your finder. So let's talk about the dock. 
you get a lot of icons on the dock and some of them you may never use or you may want to use them but in the distant future. So I'm going to remove those. I can click and drag them and let go and remove them. Or I can tap with two fingers on the trackpad or right click on the mouse, go to options, remove from dock. I'll go ahead and remove several of these so that my dock has just the icons that I use on a daily basis. Okay, now I want to change the size of the dock. It's a little too big. I can click right on this line and drag up or down change the size. Okay, now there's a missing icon. I use Google Chrome a lot and I want to add that to my dock. So I will click here on the finder, go to my applications folder, and I will find Google Chrome. Click and I drag it down, wait for it to make a spot, and then I let go and I have Google Chrome on my dock. Now my dock is customized the way I want. There is a way to change the dock and move it over to the left side of your screen or the right side of the screen. And you can do that in your system preferences. So now we need to talk about scrolling. When we scroll with the mouse, if the scrolling seems backwards, when you scroll down, scroll up, and it's the opposite way that you prefer, that can be easily changed. The same is true for your trackpad. If you use two fingers and hold them and scroll up and down on your trackpad, you can have it, it's the same way as your iPad or your iPhone, or you can have it the same as your mouse. Those can all be set here in the system preferences. Mouse is here. If you don't have a mouse plugged into your computer, your laptop this won't show. But right now I want to turn off natural directions so that it is the old-fashioned way that I'm used to that I grew up using. And if I go to my trackpad scroll and zoom is right here and you can change the way that it scrolls with your two fingers. Now tapping with the trackpad has changed with the new trackpads. If you're not very comfortable with the way that it does, you can change the force click and haptic feedback and that may help and you can test it and then put it back. You can change the way two finger click. I really prefer the two fingers for the right click or the secondary click as Apple calls it. So I'll leave that the way it is. So that covers scrolling and tapping. Now as you're using your Mac you'll get lots of notifications from different apps and they pop up here on the right side and that can be distracting or interruptive while you're working. To turn off the notifications come here to the notifications section of your system preferences. Come over to do not disturb. So if you don't want notifications from 8 a.m to 3.30 p.m. Then you will only get notifications while you are not at work or during a presentation. And that can be very useful to set that for your notifications. Now I have my Mac customized just the way I want it and it's more familiar to me just like my old Mac was. I'm ready to go to work. Thanks for watching.